need to see a therapist. I can't believe you're breaking up with me over this. Well, it's more like when a girl breaks up with a guy for never putting up the toilet seat. It's not like there's something wrong with that person. It's incompatibility. But you did say there was something wrong with me. You liked Inception. So? You said it was a good movie. It was a good movie. Why? I don't know, because it made you think. It made you think? What kind of movie doesn't make you think? It was a smart movie. You're upset because you didn't get it. What? You're upset because even though you have a obsessive man crush on Christopher Nolan, or whatever his name is, you didn't get Inception. What's not to get? A thief has the technology to enter people's dreams to put an idea in their minds. So you did get it. Here, my problem is, there's a thing called persuasion. Why couldn't they just do that? Instead, they had to spend huge amounts of money and risk their own lives when they could have said, Hey, you know your father hated you, right? Ruined the company. I guess. You guess? That's all you have to say. I don't know. You should email Leonardo DiCaprio. Actors don't write their own scripts. Well, I didn't know that. I'm not really into movies. No. Hey, but you're the one who started it. But I know you have a temperament problem. I don't have a temperament problem. Okay, but maybe we just move things over. You like movies, right? I have Battleship on Blu-ray. Rihanna was amazing. Get out. What was this? <laughs> Are you serious? Get out or I will seriously rip your face apart. You're crazy. I'm out of here. So, is she gonna call the cops? I don't think so. It's not like I ripped her heart out or anything. Oh, like in Temple of Doom? Oh, uh -huh, that was a good movie. That was a good movie. But seriously, you need to find someone to talk to. I know a therapist that likes movies. Fine. Good, because I scheduled your appointment today. What? So how does that make you feel? What? I don't know. You don't know. Interesting. Shouldn't you know? Isn't that your job? Hmm. Let's try a little exercise. <coughs> I'm going to say a series of words, and you're going to say the first thing that comes to mind. Good. Good. Bad. Bad. Well, the point of this assignment is to... here. Just try saying the first next thing that comes to mind. Bad. Uh, twilight? Good. Well hunting. Dubstep. The sound of Transformers having sex. Okay. Suspense. Hitchcock. Adventure. Spielberg. Violence. Quentin Tarantino. Sex. Quentin Tarantino. Complicated. Inception. Why? I don't know. Here. I think you're looking at it the wrong way. The movie is really about whether he was actually dreaming or not because he struggled to realize the fact he denied and repressed facts that in fact could have helped him. What are you trying to say? There isn't anything wrong with you. You just shouldn't be so angry all the time. Your passion for movies is making you a real fanatic. You have to fight it. And Inception was really over. Oh, come on! Eeny, meeny, miny, yes. No. No. Don't, don't open the box. Don't open the box. Don't open, don't. No! No! I told him not to open the box. I told him not to. Oh, I'm doing a lot better. Like just the other day, I was at a restaurant and I saw a guy leave the restroom without washing his hands. And I was fine, but like 
Didn't you watch Contagion? Or 28 Days Later. Yes. So, if you're getting better, let's just run a test. Just to make sure it's official. Are you going to punch me in the face or call me names? Well, let's see. So, I woke up this morning, and I had a dream. Instead of making a new trilogy, Disney is remaking the prequel episodes of Star Wars. And guess who they hired to direct them? No. Yes. George Lucas. No one would hire the same director who directed the crappy originals to direct the remix that they would be remaking. Then, I get out of bed and kiss the life-size cutout of That's not true. You don't have a cutout of- Come on, come on. The day the Earth stood still, so much better than the original. And you know M. Night Shyamalan, right? I saw The Sixth Sense, it was like, he is and then I saw The Village and was like, this guy is so awesome. So I bought all of his movies. What do you think of me now? I think we're okay. Good. You passed. Why not? We can have dinner. And then you can meet Connor. Connor? So, I'm in the theater, right? And my phone rings. I forgot to put it on silent. So you know what? I answered it. Honey, that, that, that's rude. That's rude. I think it was okay. Nobody else was there. So how long have you guys been together? The first day I was admitted to the office. He was a patient of yours? Um, he is. He, he still is. So the entire theater was empty, right? What movie were you watching? It was one of those movies they bring back so we can watch it again. You know, in 3D. Which I love, by the way. 3D really enhances the movie experience. What movie was it? Uh, the Sixth Sense. And my Shyamalan is awesome. At the twist at the end. Did you see that coming? Was that the first time you saw it? Yeah, but that, but that twist, like... Whoa! My, the threads start rolling and you find out that was Bruce Willis under the toupee the whole time. But did you know that? But yeah, I just recently got into movies. Do you have a favorite one? Battleship. Moses. I'm fine. I'm joking anyways. It's a three-way tie between all the Transformers movies. Michael Bay is so cool. I hear people saying that we should keep an eye on J.J. Abrams. Nah, Michael Bay is the next Spielberg or Alfred Hitchcock. Well, thanks for the popcorn, Moses. It's kind of super sorry. I just think it fits, because I'm a film critic and all, so Moses, do you have a favorite film? Yeah, I'm a huge Spielberg fan. I don't really like Spielberg, except for Indiana Jones. Raiders of the Lost Ark was my favorite. Never seen it. I saw The King of the Crystal Skull in the movie. Shut up. Excuse me? Show your mouth. What's going on? I'm just kidding. But you have Let me let me help you do now you listen to me, you punk. I don't want to hear you speak. Not about movies, Indiana Jones, nothing. Are we reenacting the scene where-